How's it going? How are you? How you been? How's it going? What are you thinking? I'd like to welcome you today and also thank you for taking time and uh, taking an opportunity on yourself and taking this moment to join me and be a part of this. I hope since last time, I hope that everything is going well with you and yours. And I pray nothing but the best for you, your family, your loved ones, and the whole world. And I, I like to take this moment to thank God, my master, my creator, the most high, my king of kings, my lord and savior, the universe, the creator, the most high, the source, the vortex, for this awesome opportunity that you have provided me with and this mission. Once again, my name is Polo Go, praise one, love one, God only. And I'm on a mission to bring hope to as many people and their families that I can. And if I'm able to at least wake up one person and wake that spirit up, then I did my job. And I'll be able to, when I see my Lord, my Creator, bow down on both of my knees and look up, look up and tell Him I did my job, Father. Thank you. Also, I want to thank everybody who is transmitting light in these hard times. I want to thank all my prayer soldiers and my spiritual warriors for all your prayers that, we're, that we continue to do on a daily basis. I want to thank all the preachers. I want to thank all the doctors. I want to thank everybody who works in the hospitals. And I also want to, I want to say that I understand that there's people that probably don't understand what I'm saying or don't, don't feel the, the frequency or the vibration that I'm giving of. And I say to you, it's okay. It's okay. Because I was blind and deaf for so many years and I didn't understand. And in between those times, all my kings and queens that were that are spiritual warriors and prayer soldiers, they prayed for me, and now I'm able to understand. So I pray for the people, all my brothers and sisters that don't understand me and aren't feeling me. I pray that one day you decide to no longer hurt yourself, damage yourself, that, that you make your decision and take it because the most powerful thing that we can do is decide to make a decision. And when you do, we will be here with arms wide open, not judging you or nobody, but actually jumping up and down of how happy you are that you are with us. Thank you. And right now, I would like to say, once again, this is Polo Go, and I command all my kings and queens to rise and wake up. That's right, Billy O. Love it, brother, keep it going. I command my kings and queens to rise and wake up. Snap out of it. Yes. And for all my kings and queens that are already awake, let's do this. Thank you. Let's do this. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. United, we are stronger. Yes. Let's give out that frequency, that vibration worldwide, globally. And leave, a, leave our fingerprints and impression on this earth before we leave. Now, before I continue, let me ask you a question. Do you know how much you're worth? Take your time, think about it. Let me ask you again, do you really know how much you're worth? Well, what a blessing it is for me to be able to share this great news with you today. 
You are priceless. Oh, you are priceless. You are so valuable. There's no amount of money or any kind of material that can compare to how much you are worth. You are priceless. Now imagine, or let me ask you another question. Do you know how much your time is worth? Do you really know how much your time is worth? That is another commodity, it's priceless. So now walk with me, take the spiritual walk with me and let's take a walk. Now imagine this, knowing that you're priceless and that your time is valuable, what are you doing with yourself and your time? Now, they're calling this a global pandemic, and I agree with them, but we're gonna make it out of this alive. God willing, different, restored, new, recharged, and with a, and with a different perspective. And for the ones that are gonna stay behind, well, we're gonna be here waiting for you, and we're gonna continue to pray, and we're gonna throw you the rope, and when you decide to grab onto the rope, we're gonna pull you up. Now imagine this, after this pandemic is over, there's gonna be something else. Remember, there's gonna be radical changes coming forth, but something radical had to happen first. So be prepared. After we make it through this, there's gonna be something else coming towards us. Once again, we're either at the beginning of a storm, in the middle of the storm, or we're coming out of the storm. And whether or not, if we learned what we had to learn during that storm, will determine if we're blessed to continue on forward stronger and better than ever. I know I know you're going through some stuff, right? I know, I know. It hurts, right? It hurts so bad that you can cry. It hurts so bad you can scream. It hurts so bad that you can hurt your body. It hurts so bad that you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, but you continue to do it. And it hurts, right? I understand. I understand you're not alone. I was there. Oh, I was there. Believe me. I was there. They did the research and they said that there's 86,400 seconds in one day. So in 24 hours, which is one day, there's 86,400 seconds. So let me ask you a question. If I give you $86,400 each day, we'll say from six o'clock in the morning and you have 24 hours to spend it, 24 hours. And each day at six o'clock in the morning, you're gonna get another $86,400 deposited into your account. What would you do with it? Now think about it. Take a second. What would you do about it? Or what would you do with all that money? Think about it. Okay. Now let me ask you this, what if instead it wasn't money, but there were actually seconds that filled 24 hours in one day, and up to now you've been given 86,400 seconds each day that you are blessed to wake up, and what are you doing with each second? What are you doing? I know it hurts, I know it hurts, believe me. Believe me, I know it hurts. But I pray that one day, and maybe that day is right now because now we're locked up, quarantine. We can't be out there socializing in, in public and we can't be like it used to be. So why not take this challenge that we have now and challenge yourself? 
and use each of those 86,400 seconds to start healing, to figure out what really bothers you, what happened, what was it, and then let it go. And right now, this whole pandemic globally, worldwide, has allowed us the opportunity to really reflect, listen to the silence, meditate, take deep breaths, get to know yourself, and slow down time and those seconds to the moment, to the point where we can actually reflect internally and let go each day of what we really don't need, but we've been holding on and carrying on for so long, which in return it causes us to damage our own bodies and making our spirit sad making our spirit very sad. I pray that all my kings and queens, my brothers and sisters, as we rise, we open up our spiritual eyes and work on the healing. For when we make it out of this, we don't go back to how we used to be before this. Remember, the blessing is waking up each morning and the rest requires action on my part. And everything that I'm telling you is not towards you. It's actually for me as a friendly reminder because stuff happens every day, but how I react to it is what counts. Thank you, Nipsey Hussle. Yes, thank you, my brother. I know you're up there looking down at us. Thank you for the great example that you left us, my brother. Rest in peace. Break bread with your families. Yes, enterprise. Come together, united as one. And take calculated steps. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but anything easy is sleazy and you don't want that. It's gonna be hard, long-term, baby, long-term, long-term. But you open up this door, when you connect to your spirit, then you open up infinite, an infinite realm where you can visualize and create your results that you really want and allowing your spirit to heal and start smiling and connecting with you allowing you to rise and wake up kings and queens and let go of all that pain that causes you to hurt your body but instead start rebuilding and healing because guess what we need you we need you to wake up we need you to bounce out of bed and declare victory. We need you to heal because there's other brothers and sisters that are going through the same thing, if not similar situations that you're going through. And one day when you're good and strong and you're going to be next to us in the trenches with our sleeves rolled up, you're going to be able to help someone just like you and me who have lost hope who are lost and blind. So we need you. Yes, we do. And I don't say none of this to impress you, but to only impress upon you and to remind you of how proud I am of you and that I see greatness within you, but it's up to you to tap into it. Yes, like Les Brown says, Mr. Les Brown, where you are right now does not determine who you can be or what you, what you can accomplish. And I believe in you. Oh, I believe in you. Oh, yes, I do. So the question is now, do you know how much you're worth? Priceless. Priceless. Oh, yes, you are so priceless. 
There's no amount of money that can compare to how much you're worth. And if we go out there searching for love and other things and other people and other situations and stuff like that, we will get let down. But if you look for that love within yourself, then you will be found and you will come to realize and open your eyes spiritually and have the fourth dimension awakening and say, you know what? I am free and I'm so worth it. Yes, you are. And I believe in you because one day I was lost. And people believed in me. And when I didn't believe in them, I believed in their belief in me. And I said to myself, I can and I will and I must. I'm pouring myself out to you guys because I feel your pain. Don't ever forget when you're sad, I'm sad. But if you're happy and I see that you're happy, then I'm excited and I applaud you. And I remind you and then and pour onto you nothing but pure light and love because you are so worth it. Yes, you are. You are priceless. There's only one of you. Yes, yes. yes with that being said I want to thank everybody who who took their time to take this spiritual walk with me and I also want to put out a big old shout out to my little brother Gabriel Trebiso you can find him on Facebook or on Instagram G Papa 95 little brother I'm so proud of you to witness your growth I'm so proud of you to be able to be side by side in the trenches with our sleeves rolled up hang in there my brother let's rise let's rise next level champ and I want to dedicate this to all my brothers and my sisters that are hurting that feel like they're alone and there's no way out let me tell you yes there is yes there is when you see no way out close your eyes inhale and exhale relax bring down your heartbeat when you see there's no way out remind yourself yes there is because you are unstoppable you are limitless you are fearless you are a king you are a queen you are amazing you're a child of the most high when you feel like there's no way out never forget that many people sacrifice so many things for you yes they sacrifice so many things for you and we cannot give up now no go through your pain go through your pain so you can get to your healing and enjoy every second of that beautiful feeling there's like no other feeling when you're starting to heal and you go through the healing as you go through your pain because the changes will come even though it feels feel strange at times it's okay let me remind you it's okay yes because once you're awake you'll see things in a different way I pray that you allow this message to go way deep inside to your hole, all the way to the soul, and fill up that void, that hole, and fill it up with this light. Yes. Yes. You guys be safe out there. Take care. Praise one. Love one. God only blessed and unstoppable to God be the glory.